Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozelich's Get Strong at Tesuji. Today we got some more intermediate problems. Starting with problem number 46, Black is looking to capture these five stones down here, and the question is how does Black go about doing that? Black's move is the placement here, and if White blocks, Black will Hane over here, White can Atari the stone, Black will connect, White will capture, and then Black will connect over here. Now Black will win the capturing race. If instead of the placement, black plays here, white can play here to get a ko, and again we want to avoid ko wherever possible. Moving on to 48, black wants to capture these three white stones. In addition, he will be saving these stones as well. And the question again is, how does black do that? Black's move is the clamp here. And if white connects, black will link up underneath. Now black is ahead in the capturing race here. If white tries to descend here, black will cut. And now white can't atari these stones from over here because it's self atari. And if white tries to capture these stones, black will connect here and put these stones in atari. Problem number 50 starts out like this. Black wants to capture these five stones in the corner. So how does black do that? Black's move is the placement here, and if white plays here, black will descend. Uh, white is now not going to win this capturing race. If instead black tries hunting here, white will block and start a ko, because black can't simply pull back because white will just make two eyes. So black needs to take this point, either one of these will again make let white get two eyes. And then white captures, and now black has to fight this silly ko and already kill this group, when he could have killed it outright. Problem number 54 starts out like this. Uh, white, black wants to save these stones and capture these. So again, the question is, how does black do that? Black's move is the bump here. And now white is dead. White cannot push here because this is Atari, and then black will finish it by atari here. If white tries to Hane here, then black will Atari these two stones, and again if white connects, black will just simply Atari. Alternatively, if black plays here, white will play here and start a Ko, because now these black can't play here to Atari itself Atari. So black needs to do something like connect here, and then when white connects, the, the Ko is on. Moving on to problem number 56, the question is, how does black save these stones in the corner? The move is this monkey jump here from this stone. Uh, these two stones cannot be disconnected, and because these are one space on the first line, they cannot as well. If black plays here, then white will play there himself and end up cutting off all of these stones. Even if black tries to Atari here, white will do this Atari. If black captures, white will go here. And if black tries to do that again, blah, white can capture, and it's, at, it's a ko at best. Um, but if black tries to save those, uh, save that stone directly, then white will just connect and black sh is dead. Moving on to problem number 58, black is looking to capture these four stones as well as save these two stones. So how does black go about doing that? Black's move is this one here. These stones are really short on liberties and white can't immediately take this to Atari yet. So this is why this one's a good move. If black would play here, it'd be self Atari and just die. So um, in response, white needs a move like this before it can push. And now black will cut here. Again, white cannot go here because it's self Atari. So white needs to deal with this stone. And while white is dealing with that stone, black will connect over here. Um, and again, white still can't do this. So white needs to come back here and black can win the capturing race by one move by putting these in Atari. So that is it for the third set, the second set of intermediate, but the third set total. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.